Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving into LitCode Daily Challenge, uh, the Excel sheet column title. So sounds fancy, right? Well, it's not just about Excel, it's a lot about understanding string, mathematics and uh, essence of iterative versus recursive approach. So before we start, if you use Excel or any spreadsheet software, you might have noticed that columns are named with letter A, B, C, Z, A, 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 B, and so on. So our task today is to convert a given integer into its corresponding Excel uh, column name. So if the input is 28, the output should be A, B, or if it's 1, it's uh, A, uh, respectively. So now uh, let's implement it and I will break it down step by step after. So uh, re result. So it will be all right to store results and while column number, uh, column number reminder will be diff mode of column number minus one and 26 and result append our char 65 a plus reminder and return join of reversed result. Okay, so this is our implementation iterative one. Uh, let's just run it to verify. So uh, what did we do here? Let's break it down. We are using the modulo operation, so diff mode to get remainder when dividing by 26. So this remainder gives us the character we need and we adjust the column number by subtracting one to fit within range zero to 25 range, which align with uh, A, Z in ASCII range. So, and for each reminder, we convert it to its uh, respective character and store it. So uh, now let's try also with uh, unsynthesis cases. So I'm running it and yeah, as you can see, uh, we have passed uh, all test cases, iterative approach 36 milliseconds and bit uh, 83 percent and 63 with respect to uh, memory so all good uh, now let's uh, reset it and we dive into a uh, next approach so all right iterative approach check but why stop there let's explore recursive solution so recursion is when a function call itself so it's beautiful concept that can simplify complex problem, but it can be a bit tricky. So uh, hang tight and let's decode uh, this. So implementing if not column number, then return empty and column number and remainder will be diff mode of column number minus one, 26 and return self convert to title column number plus character 65 plus remainder. So uh, this is uh, convert to title that we'll uh, call uh, recursively. So now at first glance, uh, this might seem magical, but let's demystify it. We are still using the modulo operation, but instead of storing result in a list, we are building our string through recursive call. So if we uh, take the uh, example, for example, uh, 701, the first call will be uh, Y and the recursive call within this handle uh, will be uh, Z. So we combine uh, it to uh, y, Z, which we then reverse to uh, Z, Y. So because it's uh, recursion, it's uh, reversed. So uh, let's run it and verify it's working for both test cases. Yeah, so Z, Y, Z, Y as expected and simple case 28, A, D, B. So now let's run it for submitted for uh, unsynthesized cases. And yes, 
our implementation also uh, perfectly scored. So uh, bit 63% uh, with respect to memory and 65 with respect to uh, runtime. And you see that both this solution, uh, iterative and recursive, capture the essence of the problem, but they each have unique elegance. And if you are uh, curious about solution in other programming languages, check the video description below. Uh, I have uh, covered uh, it also in uh, other implementation in Rust, Go, uh, C++, and much more. So <laughs> as you can see, for example, uh, implementation in Rust is much faster. So it took just uh, zero uh, millisecond instead of 40. So it's also good to note. And wrapping up this problem isn't just about Excel column. It's about understanding the mathematical relationship behind everyday tools and how we can harness the power of programming uh, to decipher them. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, keep coding, uh, keep learning, and we will see you in the next session. And if you learn something, please uh, like and subscribe for more coding tutorials, challenges, and much more. And uh, until then, keep practicing and happy coding.